Hello. Hi. It's another Hellboy time. It's nice to see you again. Our topic for today is work and power. So grab a pen and paper to write your notes. Because we will start our lesson now. Let us discuss work first. Work is the transfer of energy from one physical system to another, especially to a body through the application of a force that moves it in the direction of the same force. It is calculated as the product of the force and the distance through which the body moves. It is expressed in joules, bergs, and foot-pounds. Work is defined by the equation W is equals to F, yes, or F, yes. Cosine theta, where F is the force applied and S is the distance covered by the applied force. Let us look at the first diagram. If the box was pulled by a force F which is horizontally straight and traveled a distance has the formula for work is W equals to F, S. Now let us look at the second diagram. If the box was pulled by an inclined force F, and traveled a distance s, the force that is pulling the box is the horizontal component of this force which is equal to f, cosine theta, so the formula for work is w equals to f, yes, cosine theta. Here is the simulated example of diagram 1. Courtesy of PHET Interactive Simulations. Here is the simulated example of Diagram 2, courtesy of PHET Interactive Simulations. And these are the conversion data that you will be needing in answering some problems about work. Now let us derive the units for work. In SIMKS, the unit for force F should be in Newton, denoted as capital letter N, and the distance S should be in meter, denoted as small letter M. Newton multiplied by meter is equivalent to joules, which is denoted as Capital letter J. Now let us derive the units for work. In SICGS, the unit for force F should be in dynes, denoted as same, and the distance S should be in centimeter, denoted as small letter CM. Dynes multiplied by centimeter is equivalent to ergs, which is denoted as same. Now let us derive the units for work. In British units, the unit for force F should be in pounds, denoted as LB, and the distance S should be in feet, denoted as small letter FT. Pounds multiplied by feet is equivalent to pound feet, which is denoted as same. Now let us solve. Sample problem regarding work. In the diagram we are required to determine the work done by each force and the total work done that is, if the box is displaced by 800 centimeters. The given were F1, which is 900 dynes with an angle of inclination of 35 degrees F2 which is 500 dynes with an angle of inclination. 40 degrees F3 which is 400 dynes. A frictional force of 400 dynes in opposite direction, and a distance of 800 centimeter. 
we are required to calculate the work done by each force and the total work done. In this situation, three forces were pulling the box which are F1, F2, and F3 and covered a distance of 800 cm. And while pulling the box, the surface of the floor, where the box is being pulled, is exerting a frictional force F, which is opposite to the direction of the applied forces F1, F2 and F3. Let us now calculate the work done for each forces. For the work done by F1, the formula will be W sub 1 is equal to F1 F cosine theta 1, which is equals to 900 times multiplied by cosine 35 degrees multiplied by 800 centimeters which gives you an answer of 5.89 times 10 to the fifth power works. For the work done by F2, the formula will be W sub 2 is equal to F2 S cosine theta 2, which is equals to 500 times multiplied by cosine 40 degrees multiplied by 800 centimeters which gives you an answer of 3.06 times 10 to the fifth power works. For the work done by F3, the formula will be W sub 3 is equal to F3 S, which is equals to 400 times multiplied by 800 centimeters which gives you an answer of 3.2 times 10 to the fifth power works. And lastly for the work done by frictional force, F, the formula will be, W sub F, is equal to FS, which is equals to 400 times multiplied by, 800 centimeters which gives you an answer of 3.2 times 10 to the fifth power works. Now to calculate the total work the formula will be, W sub T is equal to, W sub 1, plus, W sub 2, plus, W sub 3 minus W sub F. We subtract the work done by the frictional force because it is only doing work when the three forces were pulling the box and also F is in the opposite direction. So the total work, W sub T, is equal to 5.89 times 10 to the fifth power, Bergs, plus, 3.06 times 10 to the fifth power, Bergs, plus 3.2 times 10 to the fifth power, Bergs, minus 3.2 times 10 to the fifth power, Bergs, which gives you an answer of 8.95 times 10 to the fifth power, Bergs. Now let us discuss power. Now let us discuss about power. Power is the time rate at which work is done. Like for example, you are pulling the box at a certain distance. At a certain time, you can calculate the power you have exerted in doing that work. Power is defined by the equation P is equal to FV or is equal to W over T or is equal to MGH over T wherein P is power, F is force, V is velocity, W is work, T is time, M is mass of the object, G is gravitational constant and H is height. And these are the conversion data that you'd be needing in answering problems regarding power. Now let us derive the units for power. For the first formula, P is equal to FV, wherein force F should be in Newton, denoted as capital letter N, and velocity V should be in meter per second. Newton multiplied by meter is equal to joules, and joules over second is watts, and is denoted as small letter, W. Now let us derive again the units for power. For the second formula, P is equal to W over T, where work, W, 
should be in joules, denoted as capital letter J, and time, T, should be in second, denoted as small letter S. Joules over second is watts, and is denoted by small letter, W. Now let us derive again the units for power. For the last formula, P is equal to mgh over T, where mass m should be in kilogram, gravitational constant g should be in meter per second square, height h should be in meter, and time t should be in second, kilogram multiplied by meter per second square is equal to newton, and newton multiplied by meter is joules, joules over second is watts, and is denoted by small letter w. Now let us solve some problems regarding power. For problem number one, compute the power output of a forklift truck that lifts a loaded crate with a force of 400 newton at a speed of 2 meter per second. The given data are force F equals to 400 newton, velocity V equals to 2 meter per second. We are required to calculate the power P. Since all of the data are in correct units and there is nothing to convert, we can directly compute the power using the formula P is equal to FV, in which it is equal to 400 Newton multiplied by 2 meter per second, which will give us an answer of 800 watts. For problem number 2, ah. 500 Newton man climbs a 15 meter vertical rope at a constant speed of 10 second. What is his power output? The given data are weight W equals to 500 Newton, height H equals to 15 meter, and time T equals to 10 second. We are required to calculate the power output. Since all of the data are in correct units and there is nothing to convert, we can directly compute the power using the formula P is equal to mgh over T but mg is equal to weight, so we can rewrite the formula to wh over T, so it is equal to 500 newtons multiplied by 15 meter divided by 10 second, which will give us an answer of 750 watts. Now we come to an end of our topic. I hope you learn a lot. See you again for another Hellboy time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye bye.